Hey guys, Kovo Commenter here, and I'm going to be starting a new series called Role Models, and this is the first video. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see guys, you've got a young lady that's walking down the aisle. Now it looks like she's trying to be respectful, making sure that if nothing else is covered, at least her eyes are covered, you know what I mean? And I can respect that guys, because the, the name of the show is called Pink Melon, and you can definitely see that she's got melons on her guys, you know what I mean? Like she's doing an amazing job of making sure that, you know, she's showcasing it, and she's doing that particular piece of swimwear a lot of justice as well guys as she walks away now an, an amazing job by the cameraman making sure that we getting that rear angle i'm not a fan of this hat guys now i'm going to be honest with you this particular hat the choice is not necessary i mean especially when you're inside now i can understand if you're out on the beach but i know women and they want attention and the last thing they want is to have their face covered up because they want to see that everyone's looking at them you know what i mean and i'm a big fan of chocolate as well guys i love chocolate and i'm a big fan of what i'm seeing right now and She's got a beautiful face as well, guys, so she didn't need that hat at all. Now, this particular lady over here, a uh, stunning model, um, she seems to be walking really quickly. Maybe she's a bit self-conscious, you know what I mean? I wouldn't think so, because models generally aren't self-conscious, you know, especially when they're not on the catwalk. They're, they're, they're freaky creatures. Um, I would say that um, their attire choice doesn't match um, what she can really, I think, what she's capable of. But then again, maybe we'll see her coming around with something better. And again guys, true to form, Pink Melon is the name of the swimwear show and you can see that she's got melons on her too guys, an amazing job that she's doing, she's showcasing them off pro properly and she's got that cheeky smile as she takes a bite into that melon. Now, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of guys out there that probably want to take a bite of, their melon, of her melons as well guys, but probably want to be a little bit softer than what she's doing with that melon over there. Another great... Um, another great role model over there guys I mean she does a good old flick of the hair twirls around could do a bit more squatting got another amazing lady over here now she's got a lot of confidence guys something tells me that about her you know again she could do with a lot of some um, like you know some time in the gym squatting obviously but she's got a great physique um, a little bit too much makeup for my liking you know but hey I mean I'm pretty sure most of you guys would not say no to her if she wanted to come back to your place you know at the end of the day which is Pretty similar to this lady over here, I mean, great physique, you know, lo stunning looking woman. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys would be happy for her to pay you a visit at night as well. But unfortunately, I mean, it would be nice if she did a bit more squats, you know, hit the gym a bit more. But hey, still stunning. Now I've got another amazing woman, now she's got, again, she's got an amazing physique, guys, you know what I mean? And the sunglasses is a great, it's a great um, accessory to have, you know. And again, she's making sure that, she, you know, she's showing off her melons and having everyone look. Great body, guys, you know really gorgeous girl you couldn't ask for more than that good like flick of the hair and good cameraman coming in clutch but obviously not close up, not the type of close-up that we're more accustomed to on this channel another stunning woman over here she's got a nice uh, slower walk covering up the eyes trying to build a bit of mystery guys and as she kind of glares at you a little bit she's looking down like she's kind of checking you out obviously the cameraman not doing an amazing job but coming in clutch there now with this particular um, model over here, I don't know why she's got an umbrella inside, I mean, the thing is, is that, I mean, who knows what other accessories she may have had, you know, for all we know, she could have had a, the choice between an umbrella and a dildo, and if I were her, I'd probably choose the umbrella as well, because, like, the dildo is probably more suited for, like, the after hours party or something like that, you know, but she's an, she's got an amazing body, guys, great physique, Cameron doing an amazing job capturing her, um, one of her best angles near the end, another lady coming out here, wanting to take a bite, she's taking more of a gentle bite, give a bit of a wink, she's a bit cheeky, there's nothing wrong with that. Big fan of that. Great melons, by the way. Oh, and we might have one of the MVPs here, guys. And if you're a guy, you know exactly what I mean by an MVP. She's got the ratio and everything, guys, that you'd expect. Great flick of the hair, and you can tell by the look on her face, she knows it. Great job by the cameraman. That right there was a money shot. If you want, you can definitely go back and pause that and have a look at that again and again. I wouldn't blame you. Another great model. Great physique, guys. But like some of the others before, could do, you know, spend some more time in the gym, hitting the weights, but nonetheless, amazing body. You can tell she really takes care of herself. Another lady. Now she's doing this weird thing where she's moving her head back and forth. I don't get that, guys. Maybe someone can explain that to me. Maybe it's one of those ticks that these models have to make sure that they walk properly and straight forward. Standard model poses right there. Walking back and forth as she turns around. I've got another lady over here. Now this lady looks, again... She's got the shades on, so you can't, I mean, if you were to see this lady at the beach, like, you wouldn't be able to know if she knows that you're checking her out or if she's checking you out, but she's pulling those glasses down, confirming my suspicions, she is checking you out, she's, or more, I should say the crowd out, I mean, again, cheeky little 
playing with the hair at the, um, at the end over there. But yeah, I mean, great looking girl. And you've got another great model coming up, guys. I mean, another great role model, I should say. Um, as you can see, guys, you know, posing, tipping the head off, turning around which is something that the other models need to really focus on, guys. We need to make sure that we get the best angles because we can't really validate whether or not the swimsuit is actually worthy of being, you know, something that you'd take um, to the beach, especially, you know, if you want to have a good time. Now, I'm not a fan of this one, guys. I'm being honest with you. Um, not so much the, the, the woman. I mean, she's got great melons, great physique. It's just the swimsuit isn't that great. And it, in this one, I feel like the lady's carrying the swimsuit more than the swimsuit's carrying her, guys. You know what I mean? And she's got a great physique as well. Blows a kiss. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of other places that I'd want her to blow a kiss at. But unfortunately, for the purposes of this show, I'm not in Miami. Another stunning model walking down. Great walk as well, guys, you know what I mean? The cameraman in this in this particular shot has a, doing a great job of just, you know, panning up nice and slow, making sure you're capturing the best angles. I mean, you can tell, like, you know, again, the sh name of the show is Pink Melon, and she definitely has melons, guys, so can't really complain about that. Ooh, and we have another MVP, guys. Much like the lady before in the black, a couple of ladies but I'm back we've got another amazing woman over here who's got a great physique and she knows it because you can tell by the look in the face and but just by like you know the side angle over there you can tell that she's got like a lot of confidence in herself and we know that she's got she's she's pretty much she's exactly what we'd expect from a model you know what I mean and that shot over there is the money shot guys that is the money shot amazing angle great shot cameraman coming in clutch making sure he's getting the best angles again guys I can't stress this enough I'm a big fan of chocolate and this lady is a, is gorgeous you know what i mean a big fan of of what she's what she's stylizing and how she's bringing that you now that particular piece of, piece of uh, swimwear back to life another great specimen over here guys great model great physique looks amazing guys you know what i mean i mean she's got like a face that i'd definitely love to you know look into well she's kind of bobbing up and down you know what i mean and she's got a great uh, future behind her as well guys you know can't ask for more than that another great um, or I should say stunning model coming down the aisle again. Now she's taking off the, the glasses. Now it's, it wasn't as smooth as some of the other ones that had um, sunglasses because you could tell it kind of got caught in her hair. But nonetheless, guys, I mean, she's making sure that, you know, we're capturing all of his best angles, guys, and just, you know, making sure that we get a good look at what she's got to offer and, and the way that she's trying to bring out that particular piece of swimwear. Now this model over here, I mean, again, a stunning woman, great model, guys, you know. Um, Pretty similar to the first outfit that came up and I don't know if you can notice it but if you kind of pause and maybe do maximize the screen a little bit you can kind of see a, what appears to be a camel toe coming through you know what I mean now again I mean it'd be nice if she did squats but I'm not complaining guys I mean stunning girl nonetheless but yeah I mean it's probably the first camel toe I think I've seen throughout the whole video I mean if you guys have seen other ones then please let me know but um, that's like the first camel toe I think I've seen now, I've got another lady coming up um, Oh, she's got thick eyebrows. And she's, she's got an interesting attire for, like, you know, the beach. I don't know if you guys know this, but back in Roman times, um, what used to happen was is that women who had monobrows, thick eyebrows, were seen as being more attractive in comparison to women with thin eyebrows. So, yeah, I mean, 2,000 years ago, that lady would be the most attractive woman in this room, contrary to what we, but, what we would believe. Now, I've got this other girl coming up here, very casual, kind of got, like, that girl-next-door type of look on her, carrying that floater doesn't need it in my opinion it's a bit too much but hey whatever makes it stand out and it seems like we're waiting on the next one. Ooh. oh guys I think we've got another MVP here that's three that uh, really stood out to me like I said guys I'm not a fan of her shoe or her footwear I should say I mean I don't see how you could go to the beach I mean the whole point of going to the beach is to get wet which is which I wouldn't be surprised if um, most of you guys are getting wet right now. And again, great angle by the cameraman. She knows exactly what we're looking for. And she gives us exactly what we want. Great um, fan favorite, I would say. Tips the sunglasses up. And a great face as well. Another one that I'd love to see bobbing up and down. And it seems like that is the end of the show. Oh, or is it? Oh, no. They're all coming out again. Making sure that we're getting a good old-fashioned, you know, second round action. Um, which is what most men should uh, be accustomed to. Now, it doesn't always happen, guys. But hey... We gotta appreciate it, and this time around the melons are more pronounced, I should say. And the ladies are coming through. Like I said with this one, this blonde over here, very crazy. I had a feeling she would be. You can tell by the way she walks. It looks like there's things falling into the onto the aisle that these that these ladies are walking on. It looks like melons. I mean, there's melons from the sky, melons right on the aisle that are bobbing up and down. Cameron doing an amazing job of making sure we capture the best angle. Cut away at a crucial moment, um, but hey, I'm not complaining. An amazing job nonetheless. 
as you can see these ladies doing the round not a fan of that hat guys but i am a fan of this lady again not a fan of her shoe um, her footwear but a great fan of what she's got behind her because she's got a bright future now of these two particular ladies i have no comment on the lady on the right um, that's more Ifri jepstein's um speed but the lady on the left um with the gown and the outfit with the um headdress type of um you know diamond bejeweled like you know crown looking thing on top of her i mean it looks great she looks amazing obviously um i'm not getting her best angles unfortunately and it seems like the lady from before has decided to take off the shades and she also looks stunning very beautiful woman she didn't need to put the shades on but i guess hey i mean accessories are something that the fashion world uh tends to be quite fond of and that's understandable but again we see these ladies doing another round a third round i mean hey if, if a guy can do third round and one of the mvps over there playing with the melons as much as we'd probably want to play with her melons as well or well, i should say most of the melons over here i mean the way that these girls like you know keep coming in and out i mean it'd be preferable like you know if they just keep going round and round all right guys so that was it that was my first video in my new series role models and i'll continue to make more videos like this in the future for this particular series if you liked it, please like, comment, and um, subscribe if you haven't already. This is Colville Commentary, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.